Kiwa Fire Kitty. And hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. And we are here with another, well, actually with the last E3 part. Yes, the last E3 part. It's Nintendo. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Uh, funnily enough, Nintendo did not have a press conference this year. They did something a little bit different. Um, throughout this past year, they've been holding a lot of uh, Nintendo Direct conferences where they basically do what they do at E3. They showcase a few games, kind of talk about the new uh, Wii U and 3DS hardware, software that's coming out. Basically, again, like what they do at E3. So instead of actually uh, having a live press conference, they did one of these Nintendo Direct thingies. And I guess uh, their logic is, well, instead of just one live presentation every year, why not have like four every year? I guess that's kind of what they've been thinking because they've had four Nintendo Directs in the last year, so. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. It was kind of weird at first, honestly. It was um, 30 minutes long, actually. Yeah, shortest of the conferences. Unlike their usual two hours or so. <laughs> yeah. Although Nintendo's never really had long conferences, they're always the shortest, so... Really? Yeah. Well, okay, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they've introduced some games, obviously. Yeah. And the first title was gonna... Or ti do I need to say titles, maybe? Probably. What's gonna be Pokemon X and Y? Yes, the sixth generation of Pokemon is here. And uh, they are introducing a few new mechanics. For one, uh, the game is actually in 3D. Yep. Uh, looks much different than the last few games have been. There's sections where, again, it's in 3D. It looks pretty damn cool. It looks really awesome. And they also introduced a fairy type to uh, yes. combat against dragons. Yes. So, uh, some of the other Pokemon that we've already met are uh, Jigglypuff and Gardevoir. They're apparently part of the fairy type now, too, so... Uh, that's basically it for uh, some of the mechanics. That's what you have to say, anyways. Yeah, that's what I have to say. <laughs> so, there was... Um, what, I, what I noticed was that they had those starter Pokemons. I mean, again, water, grass, fire. Mm -hmm. And they had that, uh, that fire wolf foxy thing called yeah. uh, Fennec. Mm-hmm. That's nice, but it's not a kitty still, gosh no, darn it. No, still need a fire kitty. Yeah, and it kind of seemed like, yeah, it was 3D, and it kind of seemed like when you would fight, it was almost like a little bit, well, let's say like a, a better version of Pokemon Stadium animation. Yeah, definitely. Because there was a lot of animation going on, unlike on, let's say, the Game Boy version, where you're oh, just yeah. like... <laughs> yeah, the Game Boy versions are just like little pixels and stuff. As Slim said, they added the fairy type, which is going to be good against dragon. And if you've seen the picture of this Eevee evolution with the bows, that pink evolution, yeah, uh, called Sylveon, that's one of the fairy types, apparently. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of weird in a way. Yeah. I don't know. But hey, they have almost an Eevee for every single type, so I'm yeah. not surprised they introduced a new one for the new type. And uh, I do have actually something else here. Uh, they're also introducing a Pokemon Ami mechanic, which is basically use the 3DS touch screen and also the camera to kind of interact with your Pokemon. You can feed it. Uh, you can play these little mini games with your Pokemon. It's pretty interesting. Kind of a, what I think would be the replacement for the Pokemon beauty contests and stuff from uh, the third and fourth generation. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The Pokemon Ami, it's French. Mm -hmm. At first it was like, wait, what? Pokemon Amy? What? What are you talking about? And then Pokemon realized, Amy. <laughs> yeah, then I realized uh, that it was French because he kind of, he spoke English during this whole time. Hmm. Mr. Japanese dude. Uh, Iwata. Yes. Yeah. So it was kind of a little bit um, hard for me at first because at first I had to get a little used to it. Um, but yeah, it's French. I mean, A-M-I. So... And you can actually even use your camera, apparently, to mimic their, like, the Pokemon's facial expression to make them happy and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was pretty interesting. I hope that uh, interacts with the whole happiness mechanic of future generations that make your Pokemon evolve the happiness evolution. Yeah, I'm still wondering, like, what actually the sense of this is, like, if there's a practical use for it, yeah. basically. For example, you know, if you can somehow mm -hmm. help level them up in that way, or God knows what. Yeah. Well, here's the good news. Uh, we'll be able to find all of this out on October 12th of this year because it's 
Coming out very soon, both games. Yep, and they also said they will be revealing more gradually over the throughout nice. the year. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's that. Okay. Pokemon. Pokemon. Ooh, now we had a nice one. Oh yes. <laughs> it's coming out in December on Wii U. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly. Yeah. Right? Because you were surprised anyways. Yeah, because I thought it was going to be on the 3DS, considering it's 3D. But... Yep, it's Super Mario 3D World, and basically it's your, well, quote-unquote standard Mario game. Mm -hmm. Obligatory Mario game. <laughs> yeah. But, behold, you can play as Luigi, Peach, Toad, or Mario, so up to four people. And basically you have the biggest improvement, or the biggest change, I guess, is that you're gonna be able to use a Nick costume. <gasps> Cat Mario! Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, she got very excited about because Kitty! Yeah, you can like crawl up walls and scratch and jump things, and it's pretty cool. It's just kind of little. I found that the noises he makes when he attacks or uses his cat suit are a little weird almost. Well, think about it it's a middle aged plumber from yeah, Italia. Yeah, I know! <laughs> Still kind of a little uh, awkward. No. I don't know. So yeah, it looks like it plays a lot like Super Mario 3D Land, which is probably my favorite 3DS title. Uh, as Bye Kitty said, uh, complete Super Mario Bros. 2 playable cast. Have the same abilities they had in that game. Well, kind of. Toad actually runs faster. Well, Peach can do, still could, hover. Well, Toad could run faster than Mario 2 as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Lots of... Uh, there were a few mini games they actually showed, and you can play co op or competitive. And we also saw Charlie! I mean, Charging Talk. Yeah. Looking forward to see other enemies that will return, too. It's actually yeah. kind of funny because I'm not exactly your standard Mario games fan. And mm -hmm. I'm like, geez, so it took them until 2014 for, for me to even be remotely interested in one of their titles again. The last one was, um, well, what I like to play once Mario. Land golden two. coins, six golden yeah. coins, um, and they had to add or finally add a freaking cat suit for me to be like, <laughs> oh, I might be interested in playing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not well, your standard Nintendo fan. Well, they had the bunny ears. Uh, they've done yeah. this whole raccoon suit thing. The bunny ears were kind of cool. Yeah, the raccoon thing was kind of like whatever. <laughs> now, now they're doing cat, so we'll probably see. Dog Mario. Yeah, I was just one. gonna say <laughs> Dog Mario at some point. Okay, well, uh, as she said, coming out very, very soon. December. December. I'm really excited about this title and can't wait to see what it'll bring us. Okay, well, uh, moving on. Uh, next, we have another Mario title. Mm -hmm. This is the next installment of the Mario Kart franchise Mario Kart 8. On the Wii U in on the Wii U. spring 2014. And it's coming out in spring 2014. Yep. Uh, as for the game itself, uh, they brought back two mechanics from past uh, Mario Kart titles. From Mario Kart Wii, they brought back the motorbikes, which I personally love from that game. Uh, from Mario Kart 7, they brought back the hand gliding and the underwater racing, mm -hmm. which... I was neutral about those, but cool to see those back, and I can see why they'll probably have some retro tracks in them. And as for the new mechanic, and this is actually what kind of weirded me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it did the same for you because of your whole headache with vision and Yeah, thing. maybe. Apparently in this title you can drive upside down and there's sideways. A, and There's basically an anti-gravity mechanic. Yeah, and I'm not sure what to think about that yet. I don't know. It depends on how they're going to implement it. If it's just going to be like the cam spins around like crazy, then I'm probably going to get sick anyways. Yeah. Much like a bunch of other people probably who are kind of visually sensitive. Yeah. But um, if it's if it's done well, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I, I'm always very impressed with the Mario Kart developers. They always make a great title, so we'll have to see what happens with that. But it looks pretty cool. The it, Trailer looked really nice. It looked really clean. It's just the under upside down controls kind of made me a little disoriented. Yeah, a little bit. But they didn't mention online play. Well, yeah, of course they have to bring that back. Well, hey, of course. It's not like that, of course. Yeah, true. <laughs> Could always take it out. 
Yeah. They wanted to it, be jerks. It is Nintendo, so. Yeah. Okay, well, moving on to the next, well, actually two titles. Um, they announced both of these at the same time. We have the next installments of the Wii Party and the Wii Fit series. Uh, one of the things they mentioned was they had to uh, push these dates back. They mentioned these games before in another Nintendo Direct, but mm -hmm. uh, they've had to take a little more time to get the games actually ready. So uh, Wii Party U will be coming out in October, and uh, Wii Fit U will come out in... I don't have the date. Do you have it? Yeah, we fit you with the light until December. Okay, so those will take a little more time, but so far from what we've seen, they look pretty good. Uh, Wii Party, I love Wii Party. Well, um, I actually can say something more about Wii Party U. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Well, it obviously was going to come out in summer and they delayed it until October, and there's going to be party games, and he mentioned 80 different mm -hmm. games. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's no Mario Party, but Wii Party is the next best thing in my opinion, so... Yeah, I mean, it works. Right? Yeah, it works. It's really fun. I enjoyed it. So. Just different characters. characters. Well, me characters. Yeah, so. I know. That's what I'm like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those will come out later this year. Yep, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, the next one. Go for it. They actually um, started out with showing the Miiverse, I believe it is, because you can leave little drawings Mm -hmm. when you make your post and they said that Nintendo was very very impressed with all those artworks so they decided to bring out a little software for it like an almost like an extended mm -hmm. add-on and um, it's called Art Academy it's on Wii U it comes out this summer and it's basically you can use crayons and colored pastels etc etc and you can basically you know it's like an extended version of what you can draw in your comments because it wasn't really well it was kind of intended for that but it didn't really expect that kind of interest yeah so they're basically adding a new this new set of features with this art academy thing so you can use actual colors and different mm -hmm. styles of pencils and god knows what yeah so, and they said they would love to see more of this stuff coming yeah so they were impressed and, and i'm gonna say something really quick about this i am actually pleasantly surprised and happy that Nintendo actually did this because I feel like there's a lot of things that Nintendo does very well but they kind of stop way too soon and I'm glad that they've actually noticed this kind of thing and like hey we can actually expand this and make it better because we're in the modern generation of consoles where you can easily make updates to these programs by you know making patches and updates and very much. It's, it's really good that they're finally actually noticing this and taking advantage of this. And I also applaud all of you guys out there who have been putting all this effort into making things look cool and actually making them notice because this will probably help us down the line to making other um, software better. Like the me creation on Wii and Wii U. Like it, it, it'll give you more options. So for all you people out there, if you want more, impress them because they listen. They, they see all this your efforts and they'll expand on it. I'm so. actually glad they did that. Or they're doing mm -hmm. that. Yeah, because I actually like the Miiverse drawing comments thing. It's really cool, but again, very limited. Yeah, I've seen some really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm impressed. Really impressed. Well, after that, we had a lot of third-party tiles and also the stuff from the Nintendo eShop. But... We kind of decided that we're going to put that into the video description because at this point it would just be us reading down stuff and dates, basically. Yeah. For months, anyways. So it's kind of easier for you guys to see, I think, if we just put it in the video description so you can actually read it up in peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll order it by month so you guys can okay. figure it out better because they ordered it by... Um, yeah, I don't know what they ordered by. Uh, third party was random, but uh, yeah. on the eShop ones, they actually did it by alphabet. Yeah, that was alphabet, but like the third party one looks like chaos right Yeah. Now. It's springing around between months. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> yeah, but um, from third party, saw a lot of the usual suspects, a lot of stuff from Ubisoft. A lot of, uh, there's also a new Sonic game for I was Wii U. just going to say, we probably need to mention one thing at least, the Sonic Lost World one. Yeah. And comes out during the holidays, by the way. So yeah, um, take a look at that, and uh, I'm sure you can definitely find some stuff on the uh, 
uh, YouTube trailers page. We're going li to link you to. There will probably be some trailers of some of those other games. So definitely check those out. For now, we're just game matching again. Sonic Lost World uh, during the holiday for Wii U and 3DS and maybe Batman Arkham Origins. Mm -hmm. on 3D, well, on 3DS and Jericho console. So yeah. the rest you're going to find it in the video description because mm -hmm. seriously, we don't want to just read this off. It's kind of yeah. Stupid. So, yeah. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll move on uh, after they covered all that stuff. We're then getting introduced to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. More like a reintroduced. <laughs> yeah, really. So yes, they're porting The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker for GameCube onto the Nintendo Wii U. Uh, it's coming out this year. Uh, do you have a particular month? October. October. And... Uh, as for other features, uh, the one thing that they actually mentioned that I thought was kind of cool was that the Tingle Tuner, the Game Boy Advance connection item for the GameCube version, is actually turned into the uh, Tingle Bottle. Yep. And this will allow you to send notes over Miiverse about the game and snapshots from the game, which is definitely a cool feature. But as for the actual game itself, I was actually... Not so impressed. Yeah, me neither. Actually, in fact, whenever you looked at it, it's basically the same game, just in HD with improved visuals, quote-unquote. Yeah. And it's like, whenever they had scenes going on in, in sunlight, yeah, it looked very crispy in a bad way. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, right. I also like, don't understand this whole thing in general. It's like, okay, you've already got this game. You know, or mm -hmm. people already got the game, they already played it. So the only thing that's different is that it quote unquote looks better. Why would you invest money in that? I don't know. A lot of people freaking do that with their titles. This is like, I think really only the first time Nintendo has really even done this. I don't know. There, there have been a few examples, but I feel like they've actually changed the gameplay and like introduced levels and stuff. This is the same exact game. And... The GameCube graphics look great. They look great as they were. I didn't really see a need for an HD remake of it. It just doesn't really enhance it at all. It's just the, the style that they use for the game, it doesn't really need HD because it was yeah. kind of like this cartoon uh, uh -huh. cell thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm personally one of those people who doesn't understand the whole obsession with HD anyways. Yeah, me too. I mean, if it's, Fair enough. If it's a game like, let's say, Devil May Cry 5, where mm -hmm. it really makes a difference or so, then, yeah, okay, HD, I see what it's doing, right? It yeah. looks better than Nintendo 64 graphics, obviously. Yeah, but this is a GameCube game, and it was made in 2003. I mean, things still looked really good back then. I, I just, I don't know, they didn't make enough changes, I think, to warrant me, personally, picking up this title. Maybe if you've never owned Wind Waker, no. Even then? Know. Even then? Wow. <laughs> well, harsh critic here, but I love that about you, so. But, I don't know. I'm not a fan of these portings. Yeah. If it has no practical sense, if they didn't, like, add something or... But even then, I feel like even if they add something later on, I feel like the people who bought, bought the game early on are kind of screwed over, getting screwed over. Yeah. Like, you know? And I'm just... I don't... Nah. Mm -hmm. Just... I don't get this whole obsession with HD. Yeah. And besides, most consoles, if, if you render it in HD, like the footage in HD, it looks just horrible. Mm -hmm. Or in 16 to 9 when it's all stretched. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I'm not a fan of it. It's, I'm a graphic artist, okay? So I'm yeah. like, ew, don't do that to your footage. Mm -hmm. Just. If you use a good quality, like a high quality, let's say 480p for, you know, especially pixel games or so, I mean, what do you want to do? See those pixels sharper? Mm -hmm. It's pixels. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason we've upgraded to polygons and even further than that. Yeah, even polygons, what? You want to see those polygons sharper, like yeah. the edges and stuff? That's, it's just. Yeah, you know. we've, we've kind of gone way past that. But... <sighs> Not a fan. So yeah, that's. If you want to pick it up, pick it up. Pick for it God's up. sake, but yeah, we're not. I'm I'm no. personally gonna skip it. I yep. think. Yep. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move on to uh, the next title. 
the wonderful 101. Um, yes, that title. <laughs> uh, I think I think once again you didn't you don't have really much good to say about it. I I well, I'm, oh, go ahead. It's not that I don't have good to say about it. It's just like I was. The only thing I took from it is okay. There's a co-op mode with up to five players. Other than that, I didn't really understand a whole lot what was going on even. Yeah, and that's one of the things I think would have benefited from maybe not a live performance, but another speaker about the game, because I don't think Iwata really covered the game much, because I was kind of confused as well with what was going on. From my understanding, it looks kind of like a Pikmin slash Okami hybrid almost. Basically, you have all these people following you, and you combine them to make these weapons that you can fight enemies with. But that's, that's what I picked up anyway. I don't know, I was kind of confused once again. I am very interested. I think last year was one of the titles I was most interested in, but I don't know. I actually kind of forgot about all of this going into this year. It's just, I don't know, didn't really snap this time, but I'm sure there'll probably be some kind of uh, trailer or more footage that'll Maybe. possibly do it more justice. But... Well, in any case, it comes out on Wii U on September 15th, so... Mm -hmm. Again, I don't personally. I did play Okami, but I didn't ever play Pikmin I, whatsoever. I didn't even really watch it ever. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, even if somebody told me, oh, it's it's kind of a crossover between Okami and Pikmin, I'm like, okay, so I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know what kind of genre this is supposed to be. I still don't know what your the objective is or what, what the the gimmick is or anything mm -hmm. really. It's just kind of like I watched it and I'm like. Uh, Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> yeah. Again, it kind of looks like a hack and slash slash like tactical strategy type of thing. Yeah, almost. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, let's go ahead and move on. And well, since I'm actually let's playing a game related to this, so I'll go ahead and start this. Uh, the next title they showed was Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, a uh, game that's actually coming very soon. Uh, I believe they said November, right? Yep, November. November. And uh, this is the first time we've actually heard about it, so... Wow, they were uh, working pretty silently on this title. Pretty much. But, yeah, it looks like a uh, addition to the Donkey Kong Country Returns series. Uh, new features, uh, swimming has been reintroduced into yep. the game. And Dixie Kong from Donkey yep. Kong Country 2 and 3 is back. Yep. So... Basically, the premise is that the Vikings took over Donkey Kong Island. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's pretty much Vikings. it. Vikings. Yep. First we had these, like, tiki Aztec heads, and now we have Vikings. Other than that, it looks pretty much like Donkey Kong Country Returns, except there's crazy cameras spinning, and I'm like, oh god. I'm yeah. Be. Yeah, I know that I'll probably not do your head so good, but... No, even just from looking at the trailer, you were basically in the barrels and the camera would kind of go with you, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, crap. You were just looking at it, it was kind of almost stretching it for me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm like, oh, I hope they don't have a lot of those levels. Or I'm just... Well, then again, I wasn't too big on Donkey Kong Country Returns anyways. It, it didn't itch me to play, basically. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of too bad, because it's just... Very, very different from the Donkey Kong Country series on, you know, Nintendo or on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. It's just, I grew up with those, so, and I'm not against, like, you know, upgrading or progress or improvements or whatever, but it's like, it, it just, Donkey Kong Country Returns was completely different. I mean, the mm -hmm. music was the same. It was the same age, pretty much. I mean, it was Diddy and uh, Donkey Kong, but it's... It didn't itch me to pick it up, not really. Because mm. it's just two different games. Yeah. In a way. And I, and I can understand that. I personally am on the exact opposite side of that spectrum. Uh, movement and crazy camera doesn't really bother me as much. If it's like too extreme, like in games like Minecraft, yeah, I can start to get like a little dizzy, but uh, <laughs> I didn't necessarily get weirded out by that. And I'm actually looking forward to this game. So. I did like I do like the, the the look very much. It's really cool and the music remixed or redos are really good. 
But um, and the underwater part was cool too. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's kind of more classic Donkey Kong right yeah. there than you know this whole you're jumping in a barrel in the foreground and going to launch to the background. It's <laughs> yeah, not, it's just not the Donkey Kong I grew up with, mm -hmm. and I just. I would almost have to see it as a different game series, mm -hmm. otherwise it doesn't work. Yeah. You know, like... And I can understand that, I can. Well, um, I think that's about it for uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, this next title hits pretty close to home for you, so why don't you go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> yes, um, so 2014 is gonna be a cool year, I guess, mm -hmm. because they bring out Bayonetta 2, which was already announced before some time. I don't know if they announced an actual date, I just heard there was going to be a sequel. And, well, they didn't show a lot, they just showed a little trailer, and they basically said the her climatic action is going to be even more powered up. But, there was one big difference, at least visually. Bionetta has short hair, and a new costume. At first I'm like, wait, did they cut her hair? Because that was the cool thing, like she had that crazy thing on her head and then all the long hair that turned into a suit and whatnot. Spoilers, by the way, I guess. Um, <laughs> but now she has short hair. She looks pretty okay with it, but I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of, it was kind of a shock at first. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Yeah. Makes me wonder if there's still that hair uh, suit thing going on. I don't know, we don't know anything really. They, they didn't really say a lot. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it yeah. looked like the other. Um, it looked like the first part of Bayonetta, though. Other than that, from what we could see, anyways. Yeah, it's not it wasn't much. The, the thing about the second half of the Nintendo Direct thing was that I feel like they went into much less detail yeah. with the games, which is kind of sad because they started out very strong. And then they kind of... It's like they just put a real huge focus on Do uh, Pokemon X and Y and Super Mario 3D World. And then anything after that was kind of just like, oh, by the way, here you go. Yeah. Almost. Because mm -hmm. then we just didn't have as much detail anymore. In most cases, it was just like, well, we're playing a little trailer and that's it. In the beginning, he actually played trailers, then replayed the trailer again with lowered volume and then spoke over it and told you all the features mm -hmm. and after that it was just kind of like it feels like after pokemon and that new mario game it was just like okay we're playing the trailer we're, we might mention a little bit something while the trailer plays and that's it mm -hmm. so less coverage yeah it's which, too bad i know i didn't really like that either i know they're gonna tell you more and whatnot but especially i mean it makes sense for a game like bionetta 2 it comes out in 2014 somewhere we don't know yeah. when but if it's something like the wonderful 101, for example, that comes out in September already, yeah, we, it's June. We need a little more information. Yeah, it's like, so what, you're gonna wait until like last minute or mm -hmm. something? Or like, what's going on there? Yeah. That's just me, though. Oh, no, I, I agree with you. I, I definitely agree with you there. So, so much for Bayonetta 2. Yeah. I'm assuming that if you like the first one, then you're gonna like the second one. Pretty much. Pretty much. I actually haven't played the first one, but from what I hear from you, it's a... Uh, Pretty awesome game. It's so. sexy. Okay, sexy. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Anyway, next we have a game that's uh, title is even shorter than D4. Yep. X. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. X. Now, from my understanding, this is done by the same developers that did the Xenoblade series, I think. I heard Xenoblade when they were talking about it, so... I'm guessing that's what it's from, but um, what did you get from the trailer? Because I actually don't really remember much from it. Um, he said it came out in 2014 on Wii U. It had a pretty catchy trailer music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, I do remember that. There were, like, robo suits, kind of, something like that. There were kind of like Transformer vehicles. Yeah. Like this tank turned into God knows what else. Yeah, I thought it was Transformers at first. <laughs> no, I didn't think it was Transformers. It just it has gave a Transformer mechanic. So, yeah. It gave that vibe. Um, apparently it has a large open world and it's from Team Tatsuya Takahashi. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, that's all I took from this. Mm -hmm. and then the, again, it's like we said before. They just played the trailer and mentioned a few details here and there. and That's, that's pretty it. much it. 
Again. I don't know what genre it is. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know anything. I guess it's a, uh, something we'll find out in future Nintendo Directs, I guess. Yeah, again, 2014 is long, so God knows mm -hmm. when I bring it out. Yeah. <laughs> and after X, we get into what was, uh, Nintendo was definitely going to end with. Everyone saw this coming. Yeah. Everyone was sure it was going to happen. Super Smash Bros. 4 for both the 3DS and the Wii U. Uh, some of the new details. The Animal Crossing Villager is a character for the next one, which... It was so random. <laughs> it's so random, but I knew it was coming. I mean... How can you add an Animal Crossing character, any Animal Crossing character, to a fighting game? Well, you could say that you could say the same about like any some of the other characters they've added, like the freaking uh, Mr. Game and Watch, and then like a few other characters here and there. I mean, I don't know. I definitely saw it coming because everyone wanted it. Uh, Sakurai pays very, very close attention to all those character polls. I mean, hell, everyone wanted freaking Sonic, and sure enough, Sonic got into the last game. So. Yeah. Yeah, Animal Crossing Villager, not surprised. He seems to use a lot of his tools and... Um, the bug net. The, the bug, bug net. net. <laughs> yeah, he caught Mario with a bug catching net, so he added that to his insect encyclopedia. And, uh... Well, perhaps the biggest character introduction... New Challenger approaching. New Challenger. He is a third-party character. Mega Man. And Rush, we actually saw Rush. Yeah, Rush, I'm sure that he's probably part of, like, maybe the recovery or something. But yeah, Mega Man equipped with his standard blaster, his slide move, and also some weapons from the Dr. Wily robots. Yep. Including, um... The Leaf Shield? The Leaf Shield from Woodman, Hard Knuckle from Hard Man, uh... So the Saw Blades. The Saw Blades, Metal Man, and, uh... Yeah, so... Lots of abilities, apparently. Yeah. We saw at least, like, four or five, mm -hmm. at least. Oh, no, I think it was, like, six or seven, actually. Yeah. There were a few that just, like, went by really quickly, but... Well, I was writing, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, really, really cool. I'm glad to see Mega Man part of it. He definitely fits in that environment. It seemed like his gameplay worked pretty well from the... I like the music they picked for Smash. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the actual music in the game, so yeah, they'll probably remember. use those remixes, which... They sounded awesome. If they do, then awesome. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then oh, well. <laughs> yeah. uh, other things I took from it, uh, not really that much. I mean, all the standard characters, Mario, Donkey Kong, Link, and Yoshi, and all of them, they're definitely going to be part of the Samus, game. Samus, Star Samus, Fox, Bowser, Kirby, Kid Icarus, Pokemon, Pikachu, yep. so... Uh, they're all going to be there. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of characters from the last game returning. I don't see why they wouldn't. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And Pretty much 40 minutes here yep. of uh, coverage. And at the end, they did mention that they were still going to have E3 booths. So it wasn't like they're just doing this and that's it. They still had some yeah. stuff there. And uh, they, had, they had like booths for... Uh, uh, Pikmin 3, um, New Yoshi's Island, yep. um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, and then also the Zelda Link to the Past remake. I forgot what they called it, but, you know, that stuff was still there. Uh, there's also trailers and stuff on the um, channel we're linking you to, so definitely check those out if you want to see those games in action. But they didn't actually show those in the actual direct, so we're but not But they gonna... didn't have Luigi in the background, which is... They did have Luigi. They did. With his, uh, Poltergeist? Yeah, Poltergeist 3000. I also saw Mario. It was basically somebody in a huge costume. You get yeah. The <laughs> and there, it was even a Pikmin 3 display. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, since that's really about it, um, final thoughts? Go ahead, Kitty. Uh, final thoughts. I'm, <laughs> I'm not a Nintendo hater or anything, but I'm very neutral towards Nintendo, so it's... Well, I don't want to say it's hard for them to impress me, but kind of, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't really usually see what all the fuss is about, I guess. Because mm -hmm. I didn't just grow up with Nintendo games. Like, we had all the systems. We had Sega. We had PS1. We had all, we had everything. So I'm not, mm -hmm. like, biased in either way, basically. Yeah, yeah. So um, usually I'm not very impressed with Nintendo. Because um, especially in the last years, it was 
when they first brought out um, the 3DS and all that stuff, it was just a lot of free like imports and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, this year, I kind of found it a little odd that they didn't have a, a show, an actual show, even though it was, you know, more calm, I guess, mm -hmm. to have an actual yeah. recording. But it did feel a little weird still. Um, personally, the only thing I'm interested in is Bayonetta 2, obviously. Maybe we fit you. I don't know what exactly you can do on there. Kitty Mario. And uh, yeah, Super Mario 3D World might be interesting to look at. Maybe Smash Bros, but it's not like I'm gonna kill myself to get that yeah. or something. I'm... Trust me, they're gonna have like a lot of updates non-stop like, yeah, from yeah. now on, so... You can definitely check that out over time and see what they also they're gonna bring. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I'm again. I'm I'm neutral. It's just I'm not exactly impressed either. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate them, but I'm also not exactly impressed. It's just yeah. But it's nice that they brought out a, a, a Mario title that I you know can use it in for once. Yeah. Because usually I was just like yeah whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, as for me, and I kind of mentioned this to you yesterday when we actually watched the conference, um, the one thing I do like is that the way they're doing these conferences, direct videos now, is that I feel like they spend a lot less time on sales and yeah. all of the stuff that they've always focused on in the past. They've just kind of dragged the conference down and like made it go so slow and also prevented them from showing off a lot of content. This year, they had pretty much non-stop content. They showed it from beginning to end, and that's that's really good. I like when they don't drag. I like when yeah. conferences have a smooth flow where you can actually see things and you don't get stuck on something for 10 minutes. And that's the one thing that I think Nintendo definitely did right. It was definitely a bit odd, and obviously they could have some improvements. Um, some of the games at the end, they just didn't really cover or yeah. give much justice to, which it's I was kind of disappointed to, especially for games like Bayonetta 2 and Wonderful 101, games that I would probably be interested in, and I would like to see more, but they just didn't really cover them the way I wanted them to. So, overall, I definitely think it was a good conference from them. I wouldn't say it's the best, but, I mean, you can't really get perfect, I mean... I don't know if I would even rate that. I don't yeah, well, yeah, I'm not gonna, that. I'm not gonna give a rating. I mean, I think, I think all of the conferences have been really, really good. I've been impressed with everybody, pretty much. So, there's been no reason to be disappointed at all. But that's basically my two cents or fifty cents or however long that ran. No, was. not fifty cents. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, um, thanks for uh, joining us this year for the. E3 discussions. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing this. It's been a lot of fun watching E3. So I hope you guys had fun watching us discuss this. <laughs> yeah. Or listening, rather. Yeah. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll do it again. We'll definitely do it again. We had a lot of fun doing this, and I'm sure <laughs> we'll do it again next year. Very much so. For now, though, keep on gaming, guys. A lot of great titles coming up, and uh, leave your comments, by the way. Yes, leave your comments. And, Let and, us know and what please, you think. not on the Microsoft video anymore. People are leaving Nintendo comments on the Microsoft video. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's okay. Keep it in order. <laughs> we need order in this world. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time with mm -hmm. Let's Plays and specials and everything else. Yosh. Bye -o. Don't forget to leave your thoughts, share this video with a friend, and subscribe to not miss out on any more fun stuff. As always, thanks for your support. Bye y'all. Hmm? <laughs>